Okay, this is my HQ, bit of a project. Um, basically, the distributor was faulty, wouldn't start. Had an auto tech come out, auto sparky, and said the uh, distributor's gone, so replace it. Um, by doing that, you have to find what they call top dead center. And top dead center is um, basically going to your harmonic balance and with a socket turning it until your mark on your harmonic balance comes around um, and you have to line up with zero degrees. Now to do that basically take out number one cylinder plug, take it completely out and I made up a tube that goes in and it acts like a, um, a vent. Basically when you turn the crank you get compression once you've got heaps of compression and you see your, your your mark coming up and the air escapes out it makes a hissing noise once it stops hissing it goes once it's quiet that's basically top dead center it might be slightly off you might have your your mark here just bring it up to zero and that's top dead center put your spark plug back in and your lead back on now, your distributor's in, of course. Your rotor cap, your rotor. That there, basically, which direction it's facing, is number one spark plug lead, which goes to, your, obviously, your number one cylinder. So, once you've um, got that established, inside your cap, you've got a number one. It's a bit hard to see. So your number one lead goes on there. And then... In a clockwise motion, put the rest of your leads on in the firing order. You have to find a, um, a diagram for that. Once that's done, your cap, and this is pretty difficult with one hand, your cap's got to go back on. Sorry about the vision. I have to put this down for a split second. Sorry about that. So distributor's back on. Leads are all back in. Make sure your leads are all down nice and firm. Get contact. contact. And there's actually a locking nut down the bottom. Sorry, the vision's not really good down the bottom, you back that off basically, you'll see it when you're looking for it. So you can then adjust the distributor back and forth. Okay, and a bit of luck, it should fire. Okay, and that's it. It uh, can be quite complicated, it took me quite a while, back and forth, um, different diagrams and videos and whatnot. But uh, yeah, to find number one, a tip I found, because I'm no mechanic, um, your cylinder, cylinders, uh, your heads, one is further forward than the opposite side. And this one's closest to the radiator. That means that spark plug, number one. Okay, well hopefully this has helped, and um, yeah, till next time, thank you.